Herpes zoster results from the reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus in the dorsal root ganglia, or the cranial nerves, and the spread of the virus along the sensory nerves following the dermatomes. Herpes zoster can lead to significant morbidity and severely impact quality of life. The risk of herpes zoster increases with age. A previously published Phase three study showed that a subunit vaccine containing varicella zoster virus glycoprotein E and the ASO1B adjuvant system significantly reduced the risk of herpes zoster in adults 50 years old or older. How efficacious and safe is this vaccine in those 70 or older? In an international observer-blinded study, investigators randomized over 14,000 participants 70 or older to receive two intramuscular doses of the vaccine or placebo two months apart. Subjects were excluded if they had previously been vaccinated against varicella or herpes zoster, had a history of herpes zoster, or were immunocompromised. 13,900 participants were included in the analysis. The mean age was 75.6 years, and more than 22% of the participants were over 80. Nearly 95% of both study groups received the two intramuscular doses of the vaccine or placebo. During a mean follow-up of 3.7 years, there were 23 cases of confirmed herpes zoster in the vaccinated group and 223 cases in the placebo group for a primary outcome of overall vaccine efficacy against herpes zoster of nearly 90%. There were no differences in vaccine efficacy between those who were 80 or older and those who were younger. Injection site and systemic reactions were more common in the vaccine group. Rates of serious adverse events were similar in the two groups. Thus, in this study, herpes zoster vaccination in adults 70 or older was efficacious in reducing the incidence of herpes zoster without increased serious adverse events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.